Right, question one. Well, for the first part, it does tell us it's a discrete uniform distribution. So that should be a pretty big clue. Uniform means the probability stays the same. Now you need to have some knowledge here of the large data set. And we're talking about cloud cover. Now cloud cover is measured on a scale from zero to eight. So if there is cloud cover, if it's like complete white out as such, then it's, uh, it's going to be eight. All right, so it's a sliding scale. So if it's a uniform distribution, what that then means is that the probability of getting each one of these, well, there's nine different possibles, so therefore each one should be one over nine. Now, the problem with data handling questions, these statistics questions, is that when you sort of see how to do it, you think, oh yeah, that's like really easy, but it's knowing to do this. And you only get that from just doing some questions, right? So there we go. So there's part A. Now part B is easy. As it says, using this model, if you've got this bit done, part B is simple. Find the probability that cloud cover is less than 50%. So in other words, what's the probability that the cloud cover is less than four? Because four is 50% of eight. So that's equal to four over nine, six. One, two, three, four. It's these guys out of the whole thing. Um, if you wish to give that as a, as a decimal, well, it's 0.4 reoccurring. Right, part C. So part C, it says, Helen used all the data from the large data set for Hearn in 2015, found a proportion of data cloud cover of less than 50% was 0.315. Okay. And then it asks us to comment on the suitability of Helen's model in the light of this information. Well, that's asking the same question, isn't it? And there's quite a big difference there. So I think I would just say it's lower than expected. Maybe that suggests that it's not suitable. And then part D, suggests an appropriate refinement to Helen's model. Well, I don't know about you, but maybe a non-uniform model. Maybe varies, depends, maybe on, on the month Oops. and place. Yeah, looks like moth that, doesn't it? There we go. Month. That is month. All right. So some something like that. It's only it's a one marker. So you only just get one point in there.